I'm Michael Floyd, and you're watching Balloon and Fell. This week, my challenge is Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, everybody's favorite space man. How does one become a space ranger? Exactly. I know when I was little, I wanted the Buzz Lightyear action figure. And by little, I mean 18, because that's when the movie came out. Ah, uh, but when you're a balloon twister, you never have to grow up. So I get to make one now. To infinity and beyond. All right, let's start with the head. Get some blush going. And apparently the back of his head is purple because it's a hat. It's like a ski. What do you call that? It's just part of a spacesuit. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a good amount. Well, a little longer. There we go. That big for his head. One Buzz Lightyear head. Now I know he has like a little bit of, what are those, his ears? Sticking out on the sides? Still purple though. <laughs> see, how's that for his head? I think it looks pretty cool already. But I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna keep going. All right, I gotta make the rest of his body his spacesuit, but I don't know what the back looks like. I gotta look it up. All right, I had no idea this is what he looked like from behind. This is unexpected. But I aim to please, so let me try it. Hmm. Now how do I attach his head onto a body? Or even make a body? I'm lost. Well, it looks like his head is still purple around here. He's got like a purple turtleneck that he pulls up over his ears. It's weird. Just needed a little bit of purple. All right, that's looking pretty cool already. I think I might have said that already. All right, now he has his neck. I just have to figure out how to make the rest of his body still. Well, he has like a green chest piece here, so I can start making that. But is it like green all the way around? I don't think it is. Better consult a photo. Okay, according to this photo here, it's like white and green on the back. Who knew? I never looked at him from behind. So I guess I need some white balloons. All right, so there's his front and there's his back so far, I know. Got a lot of work to do. Hmm. All right, how's that look for his chest piece? I think it's starting to come together now. Ooh, black, doesn't want to let go. There we go. For his waist, I'm gonna need some black. I'm attaching his waist to his neck. Bet you didn't know that was part of his anatomy, did ya? But he needs legs, which means more white. It's stuck. There we go. His waist. Hmm. His waist might be a little too thin. I might need to add some more black. Oh, this is starting to look pretty cool, I have to say. But he needs like the purple stripes on the top. All right, that definitely adds a lot of detail and I like it, but I think I should spend time on like arms and legs. Should his arms be 260s or 350s? How thick should his arms be? You're right, I'm thinking this thick. He has like gray right here, I almost forgot to add that. Oh, don't tell me now. All right, that's looking okay. I think that's too thick for a forearm. I think this is the correct thickness. Let's save this one for later. All right, how's that looking for his arm? I think it looks pretty good. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget any of the details. At least as many as I can remember. Those I won't forget, the ones I can remember. All right, that's starting to look really cool, but he definitely still needs legs. I mean, maybe if I was making Anakin Skywalker, I could get away without making legs. Four arms. I'm thinking definitely a 350 for the legs. Don't want to drop them. That looks about right. need to pop off the very end. Let's mount. So they're about the same size. It's good. Tie a knot. Okay, that's definitely starting to come together. I don't know why his head always wants to look to the side. Maybe there's like space crimes going on over there and I don't even know. I'm not a space ranger. I'm not trained to find these things. His head is still a little tilty, so I should add another balloon. Don't worry, this is technically accurate. If you look right here, it's purple. All right, that definitely helped. Now his head is on straight. Okay, let's see, what else do I need? Baby feet? <laughs> Not that big? Oh yeah, that's a good size. There's one shoe. Needs two. 
All right, that's looking good, but he needs some color down here. So I'm gonna add the green on the top. How's that looking? I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, I almost, of course I'm also tired. You blow up balloons for two hours straight and you tend to lose a little perspective. Oh man, this thing is starting to look really cool. Let's see, I got arms, I got legs, I got, I got the green on his shoes. Looking at the picture, just making sure everything's the way it should be. Green on the shoes. He does have a little green up on his arms. I probably should add that. All right, Oop. and right there. Okay, all right, that's really starting to look cool. I feel like I'm missing something. I guess it's time to start working on the back, which leads me to the next question. Should those wings be out or in? I'm leaning on out. So maybe I should make the wings next, because then I can figure out how to attach them. His wings are purple. But should I use a 160? I mean, they are thin wings. Probably should use a 160. But then there's gonna be like a big hole in the middle, and you guys don't like that. So should I use like a 350 so that there's no hole in the middle? Hmm. But then they're gonna be like big old sausage wings. Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, I think it's more important for the wings to be thin, so I'm gonna stick with the 160. Let's see, the wings stick out pretty far. So I'm thinking like to there, which means the wings should be out to about there. And the top of the wings are red and white. That's a tough one to blow up. getting caught together. There we go. Like about that much or a little less? I'm thinking a little bit less, like maybe right here. That feels good to me. What do you think? All right, we got wings. Now let's attach them to the body because the wings should be like right here. How's that looking? I think that makes it look really cool. Okay, then it looks like, all right, now these go there. I just have to figure out how to attach them still. I know there's some white involved, so maybe we'll start with that. I'm totally just making this up as I go along. All right, so I made a flap here because I wanted to fill it in more, but now I gotta attach it somehow. All right, how's that looking? I'm not exactly happy with the wings, but I can't figure out how to make them better. The back I thought looks pretty cool, but needs some work. I feel like maybe this part's too big. All right, I think that fixed it. These were definitely too big. And the back looks a lot cleaner now. He has a little bit of green on his back though, so I'm gonna add that. I mean, I've already gone this much. All right, see so that looks a little bit better. A little bit of purple right here though, really tight together. I'll fuss with it more later. Am I forgetting anything? That's the important part. Let's see, we have his wings, we have his backpack, we got his feet, we got his arms. Let me check the photo. The only thing I can think of is like his helmet. And for the helmet, I'm gonna be using a clear balloon. All right, how does that look to you guys? I'm not a big fan of it. I like it more without the helmet. When his helmet is down, do you even see it? Yeah, it looks like even with his helmet down, it's just like the front slips to the back. So I don't know, maybe I can play with it, push it back a little bit more. <laughs> That just sort of looks like a big clear collar, but it's his helmet. I know if I didn't add a helmet, someone would have been like, you didn't make his helmet. And I know some of you are thinking, why not just put his head inside of a giant round balloon? Well, that's a lot harder than it actually sounds, so. And now it's time for the art. Now Buzz here has a lot of different details all over him, because you know, he's an action figure. They got like stickers everywhere. I'm not gonna do them all. I'm just gonna do the ones that will help us recognize him the most. I'm sorry if I forget your favorite sticker. All right, we got like the blue triangle on the front. He has like some buttons too. He has like a big red button on the other side. And on this arm, he has a big red button that shoots his laser. You can't forget the little laser that comes out over here. Okay, a lot of details. Get some more yellow for this part of the label over here. All right, I got all of the art decals on him. On his arm, we got like a laser button. We got all the buttons on his chest. I think that's the most important artwork. But I'm sure you'll let me know if I'm forgetting anything. Of course, I gotta do the head. All right, and there's his face. What do you think? That was a lot of artwork. Oop, I almost forgot the gleams in his eyes. All right, and I'm done with his artwork. Tell me, what do you think? He was definitely difficult. I'm gonna call this one challenge completed. One Buzz Lightyear made out of balloons. Let's get a good look at him. Oh, 
This is awesome. Definitely guaranteed to make any little boy or girl happy. Just don't try making it out of a restaurant. It was more difficult than anything I've made on this channel so far just because of the amount of detail. And I had no idea what I was doing. But it's all worth it to see those smiles. If I could see smiles through YouTube. Well, you guys know what to do. If you think Buzz Lightyear is a win, click that thumbs up button. If you think it's a fail, click the thumbs down button. I'm looking for my next challenge. You can challenge me in the comments below or through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you enjoyed watching this Balloon Unfell Challenge and you want to see more, check out the playlist in the description. And remember to subscribe to my channel. I do this kind of thing every week. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even Buzz Lightyear.